are enemies, and there are always enemies. For now, we fight the Vanir. Hello guys, and welcome back to a new episode with your host Banton Game Age of Conan. Today we'll continue questing in Conarch Village with our barbarian Barnto. So let's get out some new quests. Yes. Hi, that'll be me. And who are you, eh? If this is about the money I owe, you can go to hell. I have nothing in the world beside the clothes on my back. And you can gargle a mouthful of wolf piss if you think I'll let you rob me of my dignity and leave me naked. So what'll it be? Calantes? Crom, I've not heard that name outside my own dreams in a mighty span of years. He's still alive, eh? Why'd he send you to Redach then? What's so important that Calantes would have you bothering me like this? You're marked. Ha! <laughs> And I thought I was enjoying a spell of ill luck. The gods must be pissing themselves laughing as they play with you, eh? But you're... Ah, you shed the Acheronian spirit. Purged, eh? Likely some sorcerer's force left in the Atlantean ruins banished the evil from your blood. I see to the truth of it now. You don't know who you were before you were taken, do you? Ha! <laughs> Krom and Emir. You're a sorry excuse for a Sumerian. Weak as a newborn Vanir to allow yourself to be enslaved like that. But there's hope yet, weakling. Fear not. Calantes was right to send you to me, for I know of the medallion and its power to break any of the Acheronian magic Tohomon uses. But the talisman is shattered, and thus it doesn't work as it should. The medallion was broken into four pieces centuries ago, each piece cast to the corners of the world. She spoke the right of it. The mark of Acheron is strong. Even though you broke the spell of control, it still darkens your memory. With the medallion whole once more, it will shed the last shadows of the mark's black spell from over your heart. You will know who you were before your days as a slave. I never said that! Krom's blood! You assume I'm as weak and as worthless as you! But we need more of the Phoenix medallion. And I must know more about you first. Are you ready? Good. Hand me the Phoenix of the West, and I'll see about helping you. I've the gift of sight, letting me see into others' hearts and souls. Close your eyes, slow your breathing, and think back to your days on Tortage Island. Think of all you did, all you said. Now think back to the clouded nothingness of your slave days. Imagine the hidden rage, the silent wrath, as another presence controls your flesh. Focus on your anger. Break through the spell and tell me what you see. Aha! That's the spirit, eh? So you're a barbarian, using pure strength and the heaviest weapons to deal death with terrible, bone-crunching blows. You'll not grasp the full truth until you piece together that Atlantean amulet you carry. Come back to me in the future, after living for a time in your remembered role. If I'm in a fine enough mood, I might just help you find the rest of your trinket, eh? I'll be right here waiting. So... Off you go. Farewell. This is the destiny quest continuing after you actually leave to the charge and you can get new quests when you rise in level. To do this next uh, destiny quest you actually have to reach level 30. So we're gonna grab some quests in Conarch village so we can gain more XP so we can level up our it? character Barnto. That should tell you all you need to know of me. This is one more. thing, the longer Kong you get in this game you will start to, to miss this voice dialogue. So. Enemies. For now, Listen to them the while they last. You're not of this clan and you want to fight? Would you fight for money or simply glory? Both are worthy of a strong arm. Go and find Bronwith. She will know where best to use you. Yes, I suggest you do. She is by the well at the market. Just continue through the palisade to the east and up the slope. Then follow the path going left. On our to clan So Connor. we got a quest to meet up with Bronwith. But uh, she's... At like the other side of the town and I think we should actually go and pick up some more quests in Conarch village and 
really bunch up a bunch of quests in our quest log instead of running around with like one two quests you never know when you run into a new region and you have some quests and you can get some nice rewards of items and also some XP so you can level up your character as well. So here's one guy. As you notice here, they do not have voice dialogues anymore. Which would be really nice if they had voice dialogues all the time to be honest, but that's something that's not here. So... Uh, well, with honor. And that's most likely why most people really enjoy Tortage because that place really got quality. And as you see in my other videos with the voice dialogues, they're really great. I have disturbed in some voice dialogues. I got a message before at one of my videos about me disturbing while talking to people. So that's one thing I'm gonna think about for the future. I'm not gonna sit and talk while they have a voice dialogue, at least not while there are sounds in them. Because I want to show you the quality of this game when it comes to the questing. Sadly enough, as I said, these guys do not have a voice, so. And I really love these villages, depending on what uh, culture you choose to start with, with Sumerian or Aquilonian or any of the other, the towns really look really good and uh, get a really good feeling to where you are. Like, I'm in this cold damn place with my barbarian in the winter landscapes of Sumeria. And that really makes me feel like part of this place as I'm playing a barbarian in this uh, Conarch village. And in the future episodes, while we have quested here, some here in Conarch village, we will of course head out, out of sight of this town, get some more quests, hunt down some wolves, kill some vanniers and other things going on there. And uh, this uh, series of with Barnte will continue. And I hope everyone will love to see more. Some weird shadow going on behind him. That's a drunk man. Go down. Don't hit me. I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. So, we punch down a guy for the guard we talked before. As you see here, there's a cross on the map, which uh, not always tells where they are. So, if you have a cross on the map, like uh, when you can deliver one of your quests, you can check the map for one of those question marks. Because it's actually this guy, it's a moving NPC that you gain the quest from. Because some NPCs actually move around, they are not only stational. You can see if you can get some more quests as well. Down here where you can travel between the different uh, regions, there are some quests, but many of those are for going to different locations like Potain and other places where you can actually have guild cities. And yes, you can actually build the guild cities in this game. Your city can build various of different structures that will improve your characters, different attributes and also make it possible to buy special gear as well. It's a really nice place also if you want to get a materials for crafting. I don't know how it will be when the new crafting system arrives in the Dragon Spine expansion. And as I said in an episode before as well, the free to play of Age of Conan has been improved so much recently. Before you could not choose every class in this game, so it was like one rogue, one soldier, one mage, one priest. But now we can actually play every class, every class in the whole game. That's so good and that should have been there from the beginning to be honest. And now you can. And also they have increased the maximum gold to, I think it's 10 gold instead of like 2 gold. 2 gold was very stupid and very low. And the reason they have said that they increased the amount of gold is for the new crafting system. New crafting system of Dragon Spine is gonna be amazing. You can read more about uh, Dragon Spine uh, expansion over at their homepage, and it's not too far away. Also, we're gonna get a new, nice, super good soundtrack from uh, Funcom, made by uh, the composer. I think it's called Composer for uh, the old games, so it will be Knut's Alvin Starpaugen who's making the new soundtrack for the Dragon Spine expansion 
And as the previous songs in this game, the soundtrack is really amazing. You can't hear it now because I, the only reason you can't do that is because I don't want complaints from, from Funcom or any other company telling me that, oh, this is our stuff, so that's why there are not music in here. But if you wanna hear the music, just go to YouTube and uh, search for H. Conan soundtrack on Groove Shark or whatever player or website you're using for sound and music. So, now if you're wondering what the user interface I'm using as well in this game, I'm using the FTS user interface. I think it looks really good compared to the original. The original don't have so much functionality, but this uh, FTS one really got a lot of different things you can do with it. There's also a good option to FTS as well, which is an user interface called Stone Rune who have been around really long. That user interface is also very good, but it's more... This has got some more round stuff and I think got a nice Conan feel. Stone Rune, Stone Rune is more like square and kind of flat, but it's a really good user interface as well. And also in the new uh, free to play rules, I think all the classic dungeons have been unlocked for the free to play players so you can go and do all the classic dungeons, I'm not sure for the raids if you can go for like tier 2 or, but I think you go to all level 80, the classic ones, and you can also do, as far as I know, all the low level dungeons as well up to 80. And we're gonna see how far this guy born to go. So here we can actually buy more bags to increase your space. But as you are free to play player, you can't have the same space as one of those uh, play to play, pay to play players. But maybe you can buy some kind of uh, free to play option where you unlock some more bag space. I'm not so sure because I'm normally a premium member of this game. But it's really easy to see here, you just click sell and you see the amount of uh, yeah, value you get for items to the right here. Keep in mind to not sell some stuff, but you can buy back with the undo button to get back the stuffs as well. Just gonna swap this weapon so I can have two of these rare ones, one that I got when we left Tortage. And uh, for the next uh, episode of the G Game Age Conan, we will head out outside of Conarch Village. First, we'll gather some more quests and then we're gonna head out. Then we're gonna have a great time and I hope you enjoyed watching this and see you in an upcoming episode of Game Age Conan. Take care, this is Banto. Goodbye. Cheers. Then leave me naked. So what'll it be? Calantes? Crom! I've not heard that name outside my own dreams in a mighty span of years.